I'm training towards my first pull-up. Let's see how I did this week. My name is Hannes and welcome to Train Nerds. Big thanks to Sarah, Tobias, Jacob, Olof, Ben and Max for joining the Train Nerds Patreon. You guys are awesome. Just getting to the gym can be difficult with a lot of obstacles. I want to discuss and give some tips on some of them. Pre-pack your bag. Have your bag ready to go. If you have equipment, leave it in there. Pack your fresh clothes the day before or first thing in the morning. So when it's time to leave from home, you just grab the bag and head out the door. Eliminate the stressful habit of grabbing everything in the last second. You will also probably forget something in that situation. Decide when during the week you will train. For some, it's important to have specific days and hours where they train. Perhaps they have such a busy schedule that that's the only way. Perfect, then plan out your week, plan the days and everything is dandy. I realized I don't work like that. I felt sometimes when I had it pre-booked and had my days of the week planned. Let's say Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5. Somehow in my brain it made it into chores. It weighed a little heavier. And if I missed one of the days, I felt bad. I had planned it and yet I missed it. For me, personally, what worked was just working out every other day. It got really simple in my mind. What kind of day is it today? Workout or rest day? And if I missed a workout, it didn't feel as bad as if I had my schedule to follow. I could just easily bounce back and do it the next day. We're all different, but for me, this was a game changer. Every other day, I work out. It eliminates uncertainties. For me, plan what you're gonna do in the gym. Have your workout pre-planned. I have my four different workouts that I've planned that's ready to go. I just open my app and start working out. I never have to think about what exercises or machines to use. Either you plan out what you're gonna do or use a pre-programmed workout plan. That's where apps are terrific. You can also find a lot of programs online. Eliminate the thought process when you get to the gym. Just get in there and start working out. Don't make food or protein intake dictate your workouts. There is an almost fearsome tactic from mostly supplement and protein powder snake oil salesmen that if you don't eat a certain amount of protein in a certain window around your workout, you might as well skip it. You can't get results otherwise. This is just typical sales BS. Just make sure you eat enough during the entire day and you will be fine. There might be a couple of percentage of extra gains if you do everything perfect, but it's not worth the stress and hassle with trying to time everything. Just make sure you have energy in your system so you can manage the workout. Don't buy into the hype of yes. over-optimization. Accountability partner. If you have a friend that trains, plan your workout dates together, push and encourage each other to go to the gym. It's a lot harder disappointing a friend than yourself. If you're in this together, you can help each other. If you don't have any friends that go to your gym, or if you go at different hours and still want accountability partners, use trainers. Leave comments on the videos and I will try to get back to you. Join our Discord and we can encourage each other there. Speaking of accountability partners, I have the best ones in the world. You guys. So let's check out how my week was. In previous videos, I've mostly shown just one set and the maximum amount of weight I could do. So this time I wanted to show that I do more sets than that. Usually I do around five sets. And here you can see the machine assisted pull-ups, five sets with 10 reps, and I decrease the assisted weight for each set. I do this now in the beginning to find where I'm at in the different exercises and increasing the workload. Bar hang. Last week I managed 44 seconds. So let's see if I improve that this week. And as with a lot of the exercises, I do more sets than just one. With a bar hang, I do three different sets. And here we go. We're passing last week's record. And we have. Oh my, it's 50 seconds. 
damn proud of that. Just look at this happy dance right there. That's a one happy fellow. We have the barbell row and it's the same thing here. I do multiple sets. I do five sets of this. Last week, uh, my best set was 10 reps with 85 kilos. It's the same this week. So no increase there, but that's all fine. Rolling Thunder last week. I did 65 seconds with my right hand. Let's see. I had 73 seconds this time. Also 65 seconds on my left hand last week. And this time 67 seconds. And then I tried something new. I added 10 kilos to the Rolling Thunder. Then I managed 45 seconds with my right hand and 31 seconds with my left hand. Here's another fun one. I changed the rubber bands from last week. I went to all green now. So that's roughly 80 kilos of assists. And I did three sets of 10 reps, which felt really, really great. And if you really want to punish yourself, <laughs> why not add some kilos on the wrist roller? I just added 2.5 kilos from last week, but this is killing me. This is so hard on your forearms. The most exciting time again. Hannes is doing another personal record on this weight stack. If he can do this, it's ultimate proof of progress. Det är en nu. Ge allt. Kom igen. Yes! And this is not a thing of beauty. But it's only 17.5 kilos of help. I will try this again next week and see if I can do a cleaner one. But I'm getting there. It was not a terrific week. I didn't feel as strong in my body. The body weight went down a little slower. But you know, that happens sometimes. It was multiple birthdays this week. So there was some grown up protein drinks consumed. But yeah, not every week is gonna be and feel fantastic and that is completely fine. All the workouts got done and the routine was upheld. So let's check this week off as a success. Well, you know what? Let's flex those muscles, everyone, and hit like on this video and subscribe to this channel. You're all welcome here on Train Nerds. And remember, even if you have a bad week, you're still awesome.